is not something I expect to hear from the head of the best labor and delivery department in the world. My OB just transferred me here for an optimal birthing experience. But you're no better than Southwest. What's going on in there? Uh, Dr. Matsudaira won't let her walk to progress her labor because of her condition. Our policy is to encourage her to labor in bed. All right, so why not just tell her that? Because that's Evelyn Davis. Evelyn Davis, the lawyer, is here? I mean, you're the top of the team, yes. Mm -hmm. I have six departments you closed, not five. Talk to me straight. Is New Amsterdam going to support my VBAC birth plan? We're going to do everything we can to make sure you have a great birthing experience. How very political of you. Truthfully, vaginal births after cesarean VBACs uh, depend on many things, like your prior cesarean. Which I didn't want, but my labor was taking too long, so they gave me Pitocin, and then they pushed an epidural on me because that was their protocol for Pitocin. And then all I could do was lay there. And then came more Pitocin, and then my son started to decelerate. Warp speed after that. People were just doing things to me, to my body, without asking. I barely made it into the OR before they were pulling them out. He's five now. Inquisitive. The kind of eyelashes people would kill for. Mm. But his birth was a nightmare. I refocused my practice on birthing justice because of it. So you can appreciate how Great experience means letting me walk if that's what I feel like doing. Well, the only reason that they're not letting you walk is uh, to monitor your labor progression internally. And um, your VBAC calculation of 20%... Means that according to your numbers, that my likelihood of having a successful vaginal delivery are slim to none. 28% isn't exactly optimal. Says your calculator, which already counts a point against me just for being black. Unfortunately, that's true. Black and Latina mothers tend to have less successful VBACs. And lower birth weight babies. More complications postpartum. Higher maternal deaths. None of which has anything to do with our beautiful skin, just how we're treated in it. Ms. Davis, the only thing that we want is for you and your baby to walk out of here healthy. It's just that when you're still five centimeters dilated after Sounds almost like you're four the hours. Work to no. deny my V back. That's not my intention. But if you don't progress naturally soon, then a C section may be your only recourse. Do you understand? Oh, you've made things abundantly clear. Glad I caught up with you. I heard you're going home. Our OB is meeting us there. Miss Davis, I, I was a fool to think any hospital would listen. Oh, honor my wishes. Do right by me and my baby so I'm going home. Home births can be amazing. It's perfect, unless it isn't. I ended up delivering my daughter in my bedroom with a kitchen knife, praying that the ambulance would arrive in time for both her and my wife. I can't let that be a possibility for you. We're prepared for anything at this hospital. You're already here. You're in labor. Please, let us safely deliver this baby at New Amsterdam. I'm going home, Dr. Goodwin. <sighs> Mr. Davis, I just want what's best for you and your wife. Is there anything that you can say? Dr. Goodwin, have you ever loved a black woman? Now, I've heard lots of numbers today, how they'll keep my wife safe, how they'll help ensure my child is born safely, but I really haven't seen my wife in your numbers. There's nothing worse than being told how to be grateful. <laughs> Julian! <laughs> Page Dr. Goldman, get the ER rapid response team. On it, Everybody stop. Listen, not to me, to the patient. Evelyn, how can we help? I want to deliver my baby naturally. Then let's try to do that. She's geriatric with a history of FTP and a VBAC score of 28%. And if Evelyn wasn't black, would her VBAC score be better, allow for a longer trial of labor? Technically, but... Then do it. Change her VBAC calculation. How? Make her white. 